Hey everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with another Let's Play. Today we have Spyro, a hero's tale for the Sony PlayStation 2. And yeah, this is a game that I've uh, been planning to record for years, but finally have the means to. So we'll dive into a new game. And we'll start it here because, yeah, I just decided uh, to practice it just to make sure everything was set up properly. And, yeah, so we'll dive into this. Um, it's been years since I played it. And it's kind of an interesting game. It's Spyro, but without feeling completely like Spyro. So I'll let you guys just watch the cutscene. That's the fallen dragon, Red. It, I'm sure you've heard all about him. No. I thought he was long gone. But it looks like he's been mining dark gems and planting them all over the realms. He's even got Nasty Nork and his minions doing all his dirty work. Nasty Nork? Didn't I defeat that guy years ago? Huh. What are dark gems? Oh, questions, questions. So many questions. Dark gems are the life-draining stones that fuel Red's evil power. If you're going to stop Red, you'll have to find out more about him and destroy all the dark gems. But first, go and see Moneybags. He usually has something worth buying. Good luck, Spyro! Uh, now, I'll unlock that door so you can... Oh, Spyro... Yeah, so this game's a little weird, because the controls are a little backwards, so the camera, uh, is there a way to, I guess the best way to do it is to change it to active, because it's kind of annoying, but, so the controls, what I said about them being backwards is, so, square in this game, right, is normally to use charge, it's flame. And circles to charge. Triangle is literally just nothing. Uh, R2 is to bring up the menu. L2 is to look forward. And um, L1 and R1. R1 does nothing. L1 does kind of like the same thing with the whole zoom in thing. And then use the analog stick to move. Select brings up the map. Yeah, this game actually has maps. Which is kind of interesting because it's not the same style of game. And the start obviously brings up the menu. Also, in this game, gems aren't collected the same way that you normally would. There's no gem total per level. And for money bags, we need 100 and, or 500 gems, I think it is. So we need that. And we need keys to unlock those doors. And guess where you get keys from? You get them from freaking money bags. Because why not? And god, these controls are going to get to me. Like, I could remap the controls to be more like Spyro. No, you need double jump. Also, why is it Trina? Like, whatever happened to... Uh, Zoe. Also, I like how there's black sheep now. The sheep kind of look weird. They look less like sheep. And to do, though, to get in there, you need to destroy a certain amount of dark gems. I don't know why the game doesn't say that. Also, oh, there we go. Yeah, see, it says circle to charge. That's not normally how it is. I think we have enough gems now to talk to Moneybag, so let's go get an item from him. Ah, Spyro! <laughs> How nice to see you! I was hoping to remodel my home and no one over days like you. <laughs> oh, but don't bother coming back here until you've got 500 gems, okay? Collect 500 gems. Okay, didn't we do that? I am sorry, Spyro. I only associate with people. Also, the fact that you can't skip dialogue is annoying. Also, where are we supposed to go if we have... If we don't have 500 gems? 
Like, game, you do realize I don't have 500 gems, right? Like, where am I supposed to go? Yeah, these are world teleporters. You can't use them yet. So you have to, like, get to the next world. There are a few worlds in this game. It's not like the other Spyro games, where there's, like, a bunch of portals to worlds. Yeah, like, see, because we need a key to get in here. You'll need to find a way to pick the lock. Can't go there. Can't go through there. So, exactly where am I supposed to... Oh, don't tell me. Really? Really? Man game, you, you gotta screw me over sometimes, dude. Alright, so we get to buy a lockpick. Yeah, and he doesn't have, like, item... Or he doesn't unlock passageways or anything anymore. So you can... Wait. Um, weird question, but why do these scroll backwards? That's weird. But anyways, we gotta buy a lockpick. You can buy health, you can buy things like that and everything. So now we can go and unlock the door. Which is super useful. So now we can go through this cave. Okay, you sound freaky, man. The Elijah Wood version of you is better. Do they really need a cutscene for that? Oh, is that Zoe there? Zoe, is that you? Wait, what? Yeah, ha ha ha, because losing brain cells is perfectly funny. Also, no gems technically spawned out of there, they're just kind of like... Oh yeah, the music disappears, by the way, when you're near, um... Well, it like fades out when you're near Dark Crystal, but we don't actually have the power to deal with the Dark Crystal, and you don't want to stand in the sludge, because the sludge does actually hurt you. But, to... Oh yeah, these things, um, how do you break these things again? I'm pretty sure we need a power up for it. I guess we'll talk to this little dragon over here. Look at this dark gem. It's pulsating with evilness. Still, it would look nice on an engagement ring. Don't you think, Spyro? Oh. Uh... Maybe the dragon elder can tell you how to smash it into bits. Talk to the dragon elder to learn how to smash this gem. I know you'll do it, because you like me. Yeah, weird question. So there's Ember and Flame in this game, and there's no reason to, like, why they exist. They're just here, and I'm... Oh, yeah, it's just a switch. Yay, switches that are literally pointless items that didn't need to exist because they don't add any gameplay. Oh, yes. The Dragon Elder. Ah, oh, Master Spyro. You must be setting out to stop Red from using the Dark Gems to take over the world. Yeah, something like that. Hey, who's Red? Ah, Red was once an Elder like myself. I'd tell you the whole story, but I'm old and I take a really long time to tell stories. So... How about I just tell you how to destroy the Dark Gems instead? Whew, close one. Yeah, do that. To destroy Dark Gems, you should use your Horn Dive. Okay, so now you double jump and then press circle. But Thomas was actually from the very first Spyro game. He was the uh, one who didn't have any confidence in you saving the world. And uh, apparently he doesn't have any confidence in you again. And when you destroy a dark gem, it'll usually change everything around here like this. Pretty cool, huh? Um, okay. Just don't double jump, thank you very much. The controls on this are a little floaty, especially with it being backwards. And Oh, we got Hunter. Yeah, I get what we're supposed to do. Hello, Hunter. Um, before I deal with you, I'm gonna go down here and look for gems, because... Oh yeah, also, if you see weird things like this, that kind of look like, I don't know, rocks, 
Also, in this game, you actually have to double jump to do it. And you can destroy those for gems. And oh my god, these controls are still screwing around with me, man. Like, they're just so backwards, it's not even funny. Oh, yeah, apparently, apparently you can still do that. I think I forgot to click the hover button. Can you actually hover in this game? I didn't even check. Wait, why am I not gliding, by the way? No, you don't You don't actually have that option. At least it doesn't look like it. I don't know. It might be because this controller is a little beat up and rough that I'm using. I'm using an old Logitech wired controller. Because to use my other controllers, I have to like set up so many things to do it. And it's just ridiculous. And let's talk to Hunter. Yo, Spyro. Did you know you can use the double jump to glide further? So, double jump and glide already, buddy. If you find a dragon egg and get back here safely, I'll open the door. Exploitation much. But yeah, dragon eggs are a thing, because, um, I don't know if it says here, there's six dragon eggs, three dark crystals, six light gems. Light gems are literally just made up by, uh, the professor. Um, why doesn't it want to glide for me? Like, jumping is fine, but the gliding thing is, uh, kind of weird. Oh, you're supposed to hold it in this game. That's not at all what I remember. That's that's what's screwing me. Never mind. A lot more smooth than I was expecting. Still don't like that square and circle are technically rearranged. And also, Norks with armor cannot be killed. Or without armor. I still love how you can't charge them. Because reasons unknown, I guess. Ooh. Finally, death mechanics. Oh my god, this is this is just so so young. I don't like that triangle. Also, isn't the button to you know like uh move your camera back to like face where you're looking? I kind of miss that feature, but. This game, I think, tried to change the formula a lot, but it didn't really work out that way. Oh yes, this guy. Hello, guy. Why Narks are back is beyond me. Like, why Why did Nasty Nork out of all villains come back? <gasps> Ooh, yeah. I really do like the sound effect, though, for the eggs. Also, these can also be used to... Yeah, it kind of said it for me. You use the horn dive on it. It's called the Head Bash, and in the other games... Oh yeah, these! By the way, these are, um... The Fire Bombs. Those are used to destroy those strong crates that we see. But the thing is, most of them only contain gems. So it's not like you're really going to miss out on anything. So yeah, um, let's see. We got another one of these things. How many chests did we see? Two or three? I don't think we have enough. You must charge them. Okay, can, um... Why did you waste that? That's not what I... Whatever. This game, man. This game is kind of janky, but it's, it's a really good game. Like, it is fun. It's just janky. Wait, all this just to get back to Hunter? Oh, there we go. We can destroy that. How many gems do we even have? I'll have to look once we get down here. Gems. How many do I have? Wow, that's a lot of gems. Hey, nice one, Spyro. You managed to find the dragon egg. All right, keep it safe. Somebody might be looking for that. Oh, now allow me to get the door. Is that Norm, by the way? It sounds like Norm. Also, my analog stick was uh, sticking there, so it, like was sliding me across. Ooh, water that doesn't even do anything. Oh yeah, you need um, you need to buy keys to unlock those chests. By the way, same with unlock or lock doors. For some reason, it's not telling us how to deal with the chest, but sure. Actually, I'm just gonna use the. Oh, I can't use the D-pad in this game. I was gonna use the D-pad, and then it's like, no. Can you let me use my flame breath? Thank you. Wait, never mind. I guess you can't use the. Uh, power up on them. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, you have to use fireworks. I'm an idiot. I wasted my firebomb for nothing. Yeah, I already told people what the sheep do game. 
Yeah, like my analog stick keeps sticking, which is gonna screw me. I'm gonna see if I can clean it after this episode, because it's um gonna be annoying. Hang on a second. <sighs> okay, there we go. Um, that should hopefully no, it still sticks. But anyways, we can talk to the professor over here. Yay, light gems! Okay, then the ball gadget, huh? I keep getting stuck on everything because I keep running into everything. Goodbye, Mr. Sheep. Light gem! Yeah, with like cheats and stuff and skins and things. It's kind of an interesting gimmick. Now let me grab this light gem. I still love the collection sound effect. Now I would like to buy another key from you, Mr. Bags of Money. Feel free to browse my fine wares, Thank you for the key. I always recommend having a key on hand if you possibly can, because they are super useful. Because they will unlock things that you definitely need. So I believe you can technically turn off the game and turn it on again if you need to get more gems, because gems in this game respawn. I already have that. Alright, so we got a yellow-green swirly egg. That's pretty cool, I guess. Now we need to go- oh yeah, we need to go and destroy that dark gem that was- which way was it? This way? This way. My analog stick at least now isn't sticking as much, so I think I fixed the problem, so that's good. It was just dusty. Anyways, let's destroy this dark gem and clean up the land. Okay, I guess the sludge doesn't hurt you. Yay, we did it. We saved the world. Oh, there should be a firework over here then, right? Oh, man, we need another key. Really? Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting. Oh, we actually have to watch this one? Hopefully it gives us 500. I actually don't know how much each gem is worth in this game. Because, like I said, instead of having gems to collect, they added other collectibles. Uh, we got, what, 27? How many keys can I buy? Can I actually buy more than one key at a time? Because if I can buy more than one key at a time, that'll be super useful. I actually don't remember how many we can buy. Can we buy more than one? Oh, you can't care anymore. Okay. Aqua Bomb, Ice Missile, Fire Bomb... Like, there's so many freaking, like, things you can buy in this game, it's ridiculous. At least money bags has a use other than being a roadblock that, you know, is super annoying. Wait, is my memory ca card nicknamed McD? That's funny. McD. So I guess we'll open up this one, see what's in here. Hopefully a light gem. Oh. We found our first, or first, our second light gem, but first, like, non-specific light gem. Do, 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 do. No, it's this way. Is this still the first level outside of the home world? Because there's home worlds, but there are levels, but they're attached to other levels. Like, this game is just full of connect- like, connectivity, essentially. Man, we get so many gems that it's like we never spent any money on j on anything, you know? Like, we're almost back at 2,000 again. We'll probably be at 2,000 here in... Like, right now. Whoa. I didn't realize this was a floaty platform. Uh, this... Yeah, I believe this leads us to... 
another world. Yeah, see, there's an entire zone that we haven't gotten to yet, but we'll be back there. This game does require quite a bit of backtracking to get everything, because you do need power-ups and stuff like that. I believe we should get a, be getting a change of music here in any second. I've used this on my Pokemon channel before. Here we have a Crocoville Swamp. So I think this is a good place to end the very first episode of A Hero's Tale. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Join our Discord where we talk about gaming and Pokemon stuff, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye bye